Uh, all right. Uh, okay. Um, hello. Uh, in this talk, I'm talk about uh, porting WorkShift up and WorkShift down as a separate module. Um, so this is my uh, GitHub account and uh, my email address. So first of all, what is org shift up and org shift down? Uh, if, you, uh, if you're in org mode and uh, if you press Control C dot, you will end up adding a uh, timestamp to the buffer. So this is a timestamp. Um, now, if you press shift up, you'll see the, the, the date sort of you know jump to the next day, right? And uh, shift down to the previous day. And uh, it also works on month and on year. So this is a really, really uh, convenient feature to have. Uh, however, it is only available in org mode, obviously, because it's you know a org mode thing. So it will be really nice if this kind of feature is available, you know, across almost in Emacs. Now, one thing that is uh, really useful. Uh, for is uh, I have a software called uh, Bean Count. Bean Count is a so-called bookkeeping software, meaning uh, it sort of manages my financials. If I uh, purchase something, I add an entry to the software, and uh, if I you know earn some money, I uh, also add an entry to the software. And uh, at some point, I can ask this software to give me a report of my financial situations. So this is income. Um, this this is I mean it's not a unique sort of software, uh, in the sense that there are a lot of you know financial software to to do this. For example, there's also GNU Cash that does pretty much the same thing. But this one is special in the sense that it uses a plain text file as input. Um, so if you um, if you look at the right hand side. This is a uh, bean count file. The first thing you notice is probably that this is org mode, right? Uh, bean count has a minor mode in Emacs. So you can really use bean count mode in any other major mode you like. So in this case, I just use org mode. And uh, if you look at this file, I have uh, several dates with some text, right? So, for example, in, in, in the first two uh, stuff, I have some accounts open. And uh, the last one, uh, if you read it, it's really just I had lunch at a place called 12 Brothers Sister Pong. Um, and I spent like 10 bucks for, for the lunch, right? This is, this is all there is to it. And uh, now, one, one thing I do all the time is I would uh, select, I would, wait, wait. I would select this entry and uh, duplicate it. And uh, why? Because maybe, you know, in the next day I had the same lunch in the same place. So I, I just reused the same entry. But of course I need to change the date, right? Now, if I'm a naive person, you know, which I was for a long time, I need to, you know, delete this, change change this to nine, delete this, change this to zero one, and this to zero one, and and that's a that's a lot of work for such a simple modification, right? Uh, it would be great if you know I can somehow use the or shift up and or shift down feature in here. Uh, unfortunately, I can't because this this date is not a org mode uh, timestamp. If I add some bracket around, this is a timestamp in org mode, but this is not. So, um, so there, there's actually a option or a variable uh, in org mode uh, that can change how org shift up recognize a uh, uh, timestamp. It's basically a regular expression, right? If I change that. Uh, I probably can let org mode recognize this as a, as a date. But it would be nicer if I can just somehow use org shift up and org shift down, not only in org mode, but across in almost in Emacs. So this was my goal. 
Um, so I started porting Orchard up and Orchard down outside um, of org mode. Now, first thing I tried is, of course, just you know, copy the, the, the function definition to somewhere else and try to use that. But uh, it, it, it didn't work because inside org shipped up and org shipped down, it calls another function, which is called org uh, timestamp change. And uh, if you look at that file, this is really a monst monst monstrous function. Uh, it's a very long function, and uh, it calls a lot of other org mode functions in it. So it's really complicated if I want to uh, port it directly. So uh, I decided to just roll my own implementation, and I end up with uh, an implementation I call TS manip, timestamp manipulation. Um, I mean, the, the implementation itself is fairly straightforward. There's not a lot to talk about. One thing I found interesting is uh, I need to I need to use some kind of calendar related function to calculate, for example, what is ten days after this particular date, or what is one week before this particular date. Uh, if you if you've written any calendar related function, you'll probably know that this kind of thing is really hard to write because calendars themselves are just complicated. Uh, so I was looking through the uh, menu. Uh, you know, you max list menu to look for this kind of functions. And I found it actually in a chapter called system interfaces. So I guess basically Emax doesn't bother to implement any calendar related stuff. You just use whatever the system provides. Um, but anyway, at the end of the day, I, uh, you know, I, I wrote the implementation and then it works. And you can see you can see that it works because if I press shift down here, you know, it does the correct thing. It also works on month and uh, year. So, I mean, that's all there's to it. Uh, if you go to my uh, GitHub, you can find it in a repo called dot, dot .files Mac. That's basically all the configuration files for my Mac. And you, you can find the implementation there. Uh, but I mean that's that's all I have, and so thank you and uh, happy hacking. Awesome, thank you so awesome. much. For